Last story, most important. Gosnell. Gosnell, we still have the number up there? Okay, good. Gosnell wasn't covered extensively in the media because they really don't want to highlight the case because it's damaging to abortion rights, and people will think that it's an out-of-control problem. ABC waited 56 days to mention Gosnell's name. Instead, they devoted a staggering 187 minutes to Jody Arias and Amanda Knox. That was an important story. But what they were afraid of appears like it might be actually the case. Gosnell may be the tip of the iceberg. Today, The Blaze is reporting another horrifying story coming out of Houston. Houston, Texas, three women have decided to speak out against a doctor who is performing late-term abortions in an even more frightening fashion. They didn't know that it was illegal, they say. When they saw Gosnell, they decided to speak out. Watch. Um, I normally saw either the snipping of the spine or the introduction of the instrument in the soft spot of the fetus normally, or twisting of the neck. I remember twisting. he would put like his finger? Through. Yeah, or his finger. He'd take his finger and then oh, and through the throat. throat. Yeah. You remember that um, the one that he did, that the baby, that he came, the fetus came out and it was alive. He had thought he had actually killed it already. And he opened up his eyes and grabbed his hand, his finger. Mm -hmm. Remember that one? No. What happened? Supposedly they said that it was a botch. And it was a botch abortion. The fetus was still alive. He thought it was dead. Mm -hmm. And. The fetus opened his eyes and actually grabbed his finger. Was able to grab his finger, and the whole procedure. I guess while he's doing the procedure, he was getting. Because after the fetus, of course, he has to massage the abdomen to bring the planceta down, or grab it with the forceps to bring it out. And this baby was was alive. Out, huh? He was alive. Well, yeah, he's looking at him, grabbing he, his finger. Yeah. yeah. He thought he had finished with the baby. It was, he thought it was a disease. It, it was a disease. He was getting ready to put it in the back. This video that you'll see um, on the blaze is disturbing on so many levels. And one of the levels is the way they describe the baby. They, they call the babies fetuses. Even though they're describing obvious human characteristics after the child was born. They even talk about how the baby opens its eyes and grabbed the doctor's hands before he killed it in a very cold sort of way. The details of the story itself are so far beyond disturbing. How they were covered in blood after the really big abortions. How it took an hour in uh, many cases. How they did this three and four times a day, actually birthing the baby and killing it outside. And women talk about looking the other way because it was so horrible. They'd look the other way while the doctor would kill the baby. Now, the counter up in the corner. There it is. This counter um, clicks off one every 20 seconds. One in every 20 seconds, a baby is aborted. That means since we started doing this monologue, 60 babies were murdered. <clears throat> I want to play one more clip here for the abortion. Abortion has been so ingrained in our culture that it's okay, that it's a choice, that it's the law, that these three women have shut their senses off. They are choosing to accept bogus talking points rather than the truth that is staring these three women right in the face. Listen to this. The women that go there have no idea what they're getting themselves into. A lot of the questions have been, Do does the baby feel? And I think that that would make me so mad because I would say, why, why would that matter to you if you're coming in here to kill your baby? You know, why ask that question? And of course, she would want to say, yeah, it feels, but that wasn't your job to say that. Your job was to whatever it took to get that person in the back. You know? I don't understand this. The, if you watch this video, um, it, they talk about fetuses the whole time, except this and she's saying when the babies f feel pain and she describes how the feet of the baby every time the doctor would kill one the toes would go from relaxed stretched out the same way you tense up when you're in great agony yet they kept working day after day after day until they saw the Gosnell case and they were like well wait a minute what they did this multiple times a day. 
the counter on the screen that we had up there is the most important number, the most important fact that we could give you tonight. The lies, the theft, the scandals, not nearly as important as the murder and the silence in this crazy world. A world that is filled with spiritual darkness. I don't believe we can save America <clears throat> if America doesn't know the difference between right and wrong and light and dark. People think we're fighting the Democrats or the Republicans. We're not. I talked about it in my NRA speech. Those are not the enemies of freedom. We stand and fight against those who deny the Creator, deny His power, and then have the audacity to grant to themselves the collective power that even God Himself denies. Please hear me clearly. This is not about presidents or parties. We wrestle against those powers and principalities, against the rulers of this darkness in this world. We stand against spiritual wickedness in high places, and we will fight them with the eternal truths that man once felt were so obvious that he declared them self-evident.